So, สวัสดีครับ my Muay Thai. สวัสดีครับ Kun Oak. I'm sitting here at the Tough Muay Thai camp. You might hear uh, we're in full session with the uh, My Muay Thai tours. Uh, this is our last stop and we're at the Tough Muay Thai camp. So I thought it would be a great opportunity to sit down with a Muay Thai entrepreneur, uh, Kun Oak, to just discuss uh, Muay Thai stuff, uh, tough, uh, and the whole business really, you know, where it came from. So Kun Oak, thank you so much for uh, taking the time and letting us train here today. It's amazing. So basically anybody who's into Muay Thai or owns any Muay Thai equipment probably at some point has bought something from you, I think. Yeah, from well, Muay Thai stuff. Definitely either shorts, <laughs> gloves, hand wraps, anything. I'm pretty certain someone, uh, you know, all those guys have at least come through you once. So how long has the business been going now? Um, for Muay Thai stuff, we started in 2003. 2003, so you were really early, early in the game. Yeah, at that time, I think that there was no very serious e-commerce okay. for, for Muay Thai products. Right. So we, we was one of the first. Yeah. Website. So what were you, were you, were you part of Muay Thai camp or equipment manufacturer before? How did you get your start? At first, we, we combined Muay Thai and e-commerce. I I, I, I I used to be the programmer. Oh, so you were you were a back-end person. You were a programmer. Yes, okay. I used to be the programmer, but uh, I personally like the sport. Okay. So I combined it together. Yeah, so it was something so, that you love. Yeah. It made the logical fit. Yes. It's amazing. So you've been around since 2003, and you guys are doing <laughs> incredibly brisk business. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems like uh, you're doing a lot of business right now. Yes. Mostly to where? Huh? Where, where's most uh, of your business? We, we, we sell global, uh, half US and uh, Euro. Okay. Yeah. So obviously we're here at the Tough Muay Thai camp. Tough is one of your brands. Yes. Where did, is that Tough as in like you're a tough person or where does the name come from? Or? Actually Tough, we, we, we focus the Tough brand on the lifestyle and culture of Muay Thai. Okay. Yeah, so, so it's more of a lifestyle brand. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And um, what is is that tough? Does tough mean like like you're tough or? Uh, actually, we we, we we want to clear the brand that uh, related to our first brand Muay Thai stuff. Oh, so it's it's from stuff. Uh, yes, but we we did that only for for collectors from that. Yeah. So it's tough. Yeah, yeah. So it and makes the sense. meaning, the meaning is actually what we, what I want because I want to represent the the strength inside strength. the person. And tough actually mean the the rock from the volcano. Oh, a volcanic rock. Yes, that's the that's the geological term. Is yes. tough. Yes. Oh, okay, perfect. Yes. So, how long has the camp been open now, then? Uh, uh two months. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. So, was that something that you had always thought you were going to be doing, or is that something that came later, or did you always want to open a Muay Thai? Uh, I, I planned it like two years ago. Okay. But uh, I was I wasn't ready. Just in last last two years, I just ready now. Yeah. yeah. So obviously, we're gonna have lots of pictures and video of the gym, but it, it's a beautiful gym, um, beautiful house. So, what do you what do you expect this gym to be in the next three or four years? What are your plans? Uh, we plan it to be like the, the it, I want it to be like the home of the fighters. Okay. I, w I don't want it to be too big. I want it, we want it this side like uh, more close, closer to. I mean, the the guests when when they come, they will be not not only uh, train with the train with the techniques, but it's like the experience. Yeah. So it's not, just, it's not just go to a camp uh, and train, but it's more about experiencing the culture of Muay Thai yes. while you're at the camp. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And you're going to deliberately keep it small. Then. Yes. That sounds like a very good plan. Yes. So do you plan on having professional fighters who are representing the camp at Lupini Rajdam there? Or do you think it's just going to be training uh, outsiders for now? Uh, we, we, we have both. We have a professional trainer and fighters here. Okay. At Peter, yeah. That's amazing. So, when is the website for the for the camp going to be finished? Uh, right now, um, you, you can go to the website at topsport.com. Okay, topsport.com. You can check out some of the pictures of the camp. We'll have some pictures of the camp, but it's definitely something you should check out. <laughs> um, I'm. Uh, I want to personally thank you for having us here today. It's been a great day. It's great training. 
next time I'm hoping um, I'm not going to be so uh, out of shape that I might be able to, to train a little bit. Um, but uh, thank you for your time. I really appreciate the time. You're welcome. Thank you. See you guys later.